Hot Torah. Um, this is a video series that's based on eating hot wings and talking about the Torah portion for the week. Uh, this video series is based off of the YouTube channel Hot Ones, and I'm going to put the link in the, com the comments below. Inspired by. It's inspired by. Inspired by. What did I say? You said based on. I don't know. Based, inspired by. We're on like our own thing. The but YouTube we're channel Hot Ones, okay. which will also be linked below. So this week we will be talking about the Torah portion, Bere Sheet. So this is our first video. It's the first Torah portion of the Torah. And we have with us Rabbi Noah Farrow. Welcome. I'm, I'm in the frame, right? Yeah. Great. Okay. That's we'll weird. That. I don't have to. All right. So thank you for coming with me on this hot wings journey. This is how it's going to work. So we're going to take a bite of the least hot wing, and then go to the hottest wing. And after we take a bite, I'm going to ask you a question that is based or inspired by the Torah portion bray sheet. We have all of the hot sauces in front of us. We have some bread, we have some plant-based pea milk, and we have some water. And back here we have trash cans, just in case. Okay. All right. The, the, the bones, of course. Or if you puke. Okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't know that was like a potential. It could it's happen. Good to know. It's I don't good know. To know. All right. Are you ready? Um, I think so. All right. Let's begin. Well, uh, can I start with the bracha? Yes. So, baracha ta Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sha'akol Nyeh Vimah. Amen. Shabbat to arrive, and after Havdalah, we hope that the light of Shabbat will carry on through the work week. So Shabbat is seen as both a reward for getting through the past week and a motivator for making it through the upcoming week. Which understanding of Shabbat, either as a reward or a motivator, speaks more to you and why? Wow, that's a great question. Thank you. You know, I think, it, you know, I hate, that, you know, we don't want to have to choose, you know, we like to have both, right? Or both and Shamor of Azachor, right? We got the two things. Right. Um, I think we could, you know, if, if I'm going to have to choose between one or the other, I, I like the idea of looking forward more than, um, you know, the reward. We, what do you want me to bring? Like, I, I could bring a little Pirkei uh, Avot, uh, you know, the idea of don't, don't be like servants who serve their master for a particular reward. Um, it's good to be able to do something that is good in itself, and you know, to be able to look forward to doing that again in the next in the next week. Um, that that one speaks a little bit more to me. And I'm sure, it makes me think of destiny and you know. Yeah. So the so the using it as a motivator mm -hmm. speaks more to you. Yeah, because we did shouldn't do things just because. Well, just because we get a reward. We get a reward. Right. right. You ready for the next one? I'm we were still working on the last it's good. one. It's good. All right. Thanks, Amy. Okay. Ready? Do you want to? We'll wait for you to finish chewing. Okay. So this one is. Uh, so so we've labeled the Scoville unit. So this one was ah. not hot. This oh, one is six hundred and twelve hundred. I couldn't quite find the right the exact number. So. Okay. Okay. Ready. Also in the not hot range. Yeah, it's not terribly hot. It's got it's got flavor. I like that flavor. Yeah. That, I guess that's the wasabi flavor coming through. Mm. All right. God allowed Adam to name all the animals in the Garden of Eden. If you had the power to rename one animal, what would it be? Hmm. All I can think is, you know, the. Uh, the raccoon, you know, the, <clears throat> as the trash panda, because I think mm. it's a good descriptor. Trash panda. That's, that's, I owe that to internet memes. Um, yes. I like that one a lot. Um, you would make it official. 
Let's make, make it, it official. Yeah. Um, although, actually, to be to be honest, I think I would probably rename the red panda mm -hmm. because it's really confusing. Because we have this animal that's mm -hmm. got a tail that's basically, I'm speaking of raccoon, it's basically a raccoon, mm -hmm. and it's the red panda. But it's not a panda. But it's not a panda. It's not a berry. It's not a, it's not a berry. Right. So right. it's just, there's a bit of a confusion there. You would, you, so you would make the red panda a raccoon and a raccoon a trash panda, continuing the cycle of confusion because a raccoon is not a panda. That's right. It's, right. It's, the, it's the, the circle of life. Or All right. The circle of confusion. So you would keep basically keep everyone in the same author. position of confusion, but you would feel better. Well, see, I think as you know, as a rabbi, I think it's important to confuse yeah. people from time to time, and to, yeah. not really. I know. I, I think. I think actually, the <laughs> just the clarification of, of either either making the red panda something else, or mm -hmm. changing the name of the giant panda, the black and white panda, to uh -huh. something else, so that you don't have that confusion. But it's very confusing. We got two kinds of pandas, and they're not even remotely the same animal. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. All right. All right. We missed. So we, we missed the names of our sauces yes. the first time too. So this is this is tiger sauce, um, mm -hmm. which you would not put on a tiger because tigers aren't kosher. Um, Louisiana gold uh, wasabi pepper sauce. That was our second one. Mm -hmm. um, good stuff. And our third one is the Bronx Green Market hot sauce Ooh. with a Scoville unit of twelve hundred. Okay. Oh, and this one's out of New Iberia. Which is oh. fun because we know people that have served pulpits in the White That's right. Yeah. All right, shall we? All right. Hmm. Oh, not hot at all. I feel like we're entering a dangerous place here because we've been so... This has lulled us into a false sense of security. All right. So this question comes from your wife. <laughs> <laughs> is it, wait, is it about picking up my laundry? No. Okay. Animals were created on the sixth day of creation. Why, of all animals, are hedgehogs a special animal for the two of you? That's a really... That's a really silly question. Um, no, actually, well, that's because when, uh, uh, I hate to call it a phase, but when I was in my, my punk rocker phase mm -hmm. in my 20s, uh, early 20s, I um, sported a mohawk that looked less like a mohawk and more like I maybe had a, like a pet hedgehog that I was keeping on my head. Um, and so for that reason, it became associated. Yeah. Is that your nickname? It was for a little while. We'll um, maybe post a picture. Maybe. <laughs> maybe for Purim, you can be Rabbi Pharaoh from his 20s. Maybe. The hedgehog. <laughs> maybe. All right. Shall we? Sure. So this one is Chipotle pepper sauce, Amazon. Mm -hmm. It's mild, but we jumped up from 1,200 Scoville mm -hmm. to 10,000. Now, is this just Jeff Bezos' Amazon, or is this a different kind of Amazon? Um, I, I think, think it's, it's different. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you meant like Amazon, the, yeah, like the online store. No, no, this has a parrot, so I think it's the um, the forest. Okay. Or the jungle. All right, shall we? And, and what's that? Sorry, what's the... That's a bit of a jump. Um, I just want to point this out in case our viewers aren't aware. We just moved from 1,200 <laughs> to 10,000. That's almost 10, a scale of, you know, but anyway, you ready? okay, in, we'll see. at the back of my throat and it feels like like I might have inhaled something toxic or dangerous but yeah and then you want to eat more because it you, yeah no. it tastes good mm-hmm February 15th, 
15, 2018, you asked your Facebook friends if they had any suggestions on how to make shakshuka less heartburn inducing. Ah. You received the following suggestions. Use less spice, eat it with a side of tongues, use lower acid tomatoes, leave out the tomatoes, the peppers, the harissa, and the onions, so just have poached eggs, or become younger. Which of these suggested suggestions ended up working for you? Um, eating it with a side of tongues is the only one that's really been effective so far. Yeah. Um, I haven't figured out a way to make tomatoes less hard, less acidic. Mm. Uh, but well, your sister mentioned that they possibly make lower acid tomatoes. <laughs> you haven't found them yet. I have not. I have not stumbled across them. All right. Well, you've, you heard it here first. If you want to eat shakshuka without getting heartburn, eat it with a side of Tums. You could probably just drop them into the shakshuka. Oh, put, the, put them around the, the eggs, tums right? In the, in just the make tomatoes. a little, yeah. All right, wonderful. All right. Cooking lessons from Rabbi Noah Farrow. Yeah. All right, well. Right. No, no, stay right there stay because right there. you're in, oh, oh, oh. in frame. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Ready? This one is the TGI Friday's ghost pepper sauce. Oh, I've heard about ghost peppers. I haven't heard good things about ghost peppers. Shall I'm looking. We? Did, did, I noticed that there's not a. Uh... I couldn't find it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't find it online. Okay. All right. My lips are like a little tingly. From yeah, this last I one. feel like I'm gonna sort of look more like a clown yeah. or something when this is all done. We'll, uh, all right, I'll give it a shot. We've got some Northern Hills. Uh, Chapstick that we can That use. would be a good idea. <laughs> Spicy. Yeah. That is interesting. I'm gonna. Right we're gonna. You want some female? I'm, I'm not sure it's gonna help, um, but we'll give it a shot. Nope. But it tastes like a smoothie. It does. Yeah. No, I think it made it worse. Starting to think about my life choices that led me up to this moment. Whether they ever became whether a rabbi? Choices. Why you hired me? There's um. Yeah. Um, I'm like, water. Is it really hot? Mm-hmm. Hopefully the next one's a little bit hotter, but I don't know. <clears throat> I definitely feel it more in my lips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have some uh, clown face going on here. That's good. <laughs> How are you doing? Good stuff. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah. Really. <clears throat> wow. You'll know us by our trail of, of napkins. <laughs> If I thought, I see, I could have put some lip balm on first. Yeah. I would have protected the lip, kept. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't do that now. No preemptive. Some official Northern Hills Synagogue branded yeah. lip balm. Yeah. <clears throat> do you mind getting us the lip balm that I just gave you and we'll do some bottle placement? That's, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. I, I've made that Thank mistake you. before. Do we only have one? Official Northern Hills chapstick. We only have one out here, but we have many more. Would you like this one? Sure, of course. Wait, who like who wouldn't want it? All right, last one. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure, we are. I am. Yes. Okay. Oh, 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 we didn't. We didn't. Mm. Oh, it is. Um, this is Community Gardens Small Peppers Habanero Mango 
Hot sauce. It is um, 22,500 Scoville units, which, uh, if you've been keeping score, is uh, more than double this one and some relationship to this one. We'll find out in just a moment. No, it's sweet. It's cool. It's cooling my mouth, but it's not. No, because cooling. then it, it creeps up. My mouth. You know. Yes. Mm. What upcoming programs or events are you particularly excited about that you would like the viewers to attend? Oh my god. Come on. We have to tip our hand that we're. Do we have to say anything about when we're actually filming this or is this the week of. Well, this, well, this won't come out until partial oh, ratio okay. after. So it is the week of the week of the week of ratio. My tongue is burning. Yeah, um, it's like I burnt out something hot. Well, we are interested and in, excited about <laughs> <clears throat> we are excited about. Certainly excited about Hanukkah. I mean, that's the next mm -hmm. big holiday that we're thinking about in our mm -hmm. menorah lighting yeah. at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, which is a nice place. <laughs> it's a very nice With place. With lovely people. Tickets are $10 a person. And that's something we are excited about. Yes, and we are partnering with PJ Library, so Dreidel Man will be showing an appearance. Ah. We'll be in the treetops uh, garden. If you keep talking, it doesn't hurt as much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the end of filming this. <laughs> when I can get some lip balm. Here. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> yes. Why is it sealed? Nobody else is yeah. here, so do you need some help? No, I'm okay. I can I can see straight. That's you know, there we go. Yes. Hmm. That is that is uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, this is um, hot Torah. Our all of our questions were connected in some way to the Torah portion of the of this week. If you would like to join me um, and eat some hot wings and talk about the Torah portion of the week, let me know. You can find me at programs at nhs-cba.org or you can call Northern Hills uh, their office. Excellent. Are you okay? I'm all, I will be fine. Okay. I will, I will. You got it open? Yeah, there we go.